hey loves and welcome back to my channel so in today's video i will teach us how to cut an off shoulder bustier so some people requested this video and i have decided to make a video on it so this is the fabric that i'll be using and these are the measurements that we need the bust is 38 waist 35 bust point 10 under bust 13 half length is 16.5 so i forgot to add the nipple to nipple the nipple to nipple is 8 inches so the first thing that we are going to do is to fold out our fabric for this um cutting so if you want to fold your fabric the fabric is on fold already but if you want to fold the fabric that will be very enough for you you will divide your bust by four and add at least six inches so 38 divided by four is nine and a half and i'll go ahead and add like five inches or six inches so that you know run out, run out of fabric or allowance while cutting so i have measured and what i have will be enough for me so this is it and i have also trimmed out the right top the right top that we normally have on our Ankara fabric. So first of all, I will subtract from shoulder to chest line. From shoulder to chest line is where she wants this off shoulder to start from. So you can make it three and a half, you can make it four, you can make it five inches from the shoulder, depending on how deep you want the neckline to be. But for this dress, I will make it um five inches for the person maybe she doesn't because she doesn't want her um the um her cleavage to show that much so you can make it six and a half you can make it seven depending so i'm just playing around to get what i want so i think six will be okay for her because she is a very young person so i mark the boss point the under boss setting the half length is 16 and a half after subtracting where you want the neckline to start from you can see where i placed my six inches that is where i want my neckline to start from you mark your bust point the under bust the half length and then you will add two inches seam allowance so the half length is 16.5 and i added two inches that is 18.5 that was why i marked the 18.5 so i'll go ahead and rule these lines I rule the bust point, the under bust, the half length, and the allowance. Please add at least two inches seam allowance. It is very helpful. So after doing that, the next thing that I will measure is the nipple to nipple, the bust pan. So I will measure it on the line where i marked my bust point so her nipple to nipple is eight divided by two that is four inches so i'll mark four plus half an inch for seam allowance that is four and a half you know that i will join the center front to the sides so i'll add half an inch for seam allowance then on the under bust i'll measure four that is how i normally do my own if i measure 4.5 at the bust point i'll measure four at the under bust at the half length and at the allowance if i measured five at the bust point i will mark four and half at the under bust half length and allowance so right here i marked four at the four and a half at the bust point four at the half length and four at the other place so at the chest line i'll measure five inches I measured five inches at the chest line and I connected it to my bust point because I wanted to have a princess kind of shape, a princess that kind of shape. That was why I marked um, five inches. So at the under bust, I will subtract two and a half inches, two and a half inches at the half and the under bust and at the half length. So I'll extend this line from the under bust to the half length and to the allowance then from there i will curve to the bust point from the other bus i will make a curve to join the bust point and at the chest line i'll subtract two inches or 1.5 depending but i like marking two inches so this is it and i'll connect it from 
the bust point to that point you can see this place is for upper bust tightening this is for the upper the chest that so after doing that we are going to maybe come down by two inches or three inches depending on how deep you want your neckline to be so i want this one to have a sweetheart neckline so i measure two inches from the chest line so after doing that i'll go ahead and cut so i'll cut out from where i folded the fabric and I'll keep the remaining fabric aside then I'll go ahead and cut out the center front so after cutting the center front I'll cut my neckline and after doing that I'll cut out this place where I measured 2.5 at the under bust I will cut out that that part so after cutting it out you can see that our breast cup is coming out um gradually so i will notch my under bust at the center front i will notch it so that i will know where my wording will stop my wording or my pad i don't know what you call it but that is what most of us call it so after doing that i'll cover the breast cuts i'll place the center front on the side piece and i'll make sure i'll make sure that the breast cut is covered like it is now it will overlap the side then after placing it that way you go ahead and take your measurement that's 8 divided by 4 is 9.5 plus 2 inches seam allowance that is 11.5 i marked 11.5 the waist is um that's say 4 divided by 35 divided by 4 is 7.5 plus 2 inches in my allowance. Then I'll go ahead and mark. Then I'll connect it to my bust line. So after doing that, I'll go ahead and take my chest line measurement. The chest line is 11 inches, but for now, I'll make it 14. So 14 divided by 2 is 7. I marked 7 at the chest. That is my chest line for now. I'll still trim. So from the bust point, you come up by 2 inches, and that will be your armhole line. The armhole line is normally 2 inches above your bust point. So the bust point is 10. And I came up with 2 inches and that is 8. That is where my armhole line will stop. So I connected the armhole line to where I marked my chest line. And I'll go ahead and cut out the side. So we have the center front and we have the side pieces. Now the center front is on fold. It is 1. Then the side is 2 pieces. So the next thing that I will do right now is to cut out the back. So after cutting the front, the back will be very easy for you. I normally manipulate the back. So I have folded the material that will be enough for me to cut out the back. So after cutting it, after folding it, sorry, I'll go ahead and place my center front on this fabric. But I will make sure that I have at least two inches seam allowance at the at the center back. So because the zip allowance will be at the back. So after that, I'll place the side piece this way. You can see that the breast cut is on top of the center front, or you can even place the center front on top of the breast cut, but just make sure that 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 space is covered so after that just cut out the shape you have on the front panel i've cut the half the half length and the sides i'll open my zipper allowance and i will cut my armhole just use the front to cut out the back i don't do extra measurements most times so i've cut out the armhole and after cutting the armhole you can go ahead and draw the shape of the neckline you want at the back so i'll also notch my darts i'll notch my darts where the center 
parts of the front and the side pieces met that place you can see where i notched so right now i'll draw the shape of the neckline that i want i want it to have a v shape at the back so i went ahead and drew the line and now i have cut it out you can see my dart so you pick your dart at the back so that is it for the back guys there's nothing much once you are done with the front just go ahead and place it on the back but make sure that the breast cup is overlapping so after doing that i will go ahead and cut out my lining i added a soft interface on my lining you can add it on your on your fabric too but i added on my lining only and the next thing that i, I would do right now is to cut out my wording or my pad you can use a hard wording you can use a medium or soft wording depending on the thickness that you want but for me i normally use the medium wording so this is the medium wording that i normally use so i will fold if you're cutting the center front you will fold and this is where the notching that i made comes into play remember that i notched my underboss on the center piece so you can see where I notched is the center piece. I'll go ahead and place that underbust at the edge of the wording. You can see how I placed it. So I'll cut out the shape of the um, center front and I will cut out the neckline too. But the neckline of this part did not meet the fabric because i don't want it to reach the neckline but make sure that the part stops exactly at the underbust so this is the side the part will stop at the underbust as well then you go ahead and cut out the shape and cut the neckline but make sure that it did not reach the neckline of the um fabric so i'll go ahead and trim out the sides you can make it 4.5 inches wide or 5 inches wide before trimming the sides. So this is what it will look like after cutting. So if I go ahead and place the fabric on them, this is how they will look. So this wording that I'm using has a gum. So I'll place my... I, I'll iron it so that it will glue as you can see it is four and a half inch deep because the person has a small bust if the person has a big bust you can make it up to six inches or five inches depending so I've added the part to the fabric using my iron I told you guys that this part has a gum so I'll go ahead and trim out the excess and this is it so the next thing that i will do is to go ahead and join the center front and the side pieces together i'll go ahead and join them so i'll place it this way and i will join on my sewing machine so i'm done joining and this is how it looks like so you go ahead and notch after notching you will iron it using your tailor's ham so i'm trying to trim off the neckline in order to get my sweetheart shape you can see the sweetheart shape is fine i also joined my lining so i'll go ahead and notch you will notch the underboss and you will notch all the curved areas so that when you iron it out it will be very very smooth on the outside so I'll go ahead and notch the other side, notch the underboss first, and notch all the curved areas. So after notching, this is how it will look like. So I will use, um, I will notch my lining as well. Because once I iron my lining, uh, once I iron my fabric, I'll iron my lining as well. So I'm done notching everything. I'll introduce the tellers ham. This is what we call tellers ham. I don't know what other people call it, but I'll place my bustier on it 
and open it up so well then after doing that i will iron and also iron on the outside so i'm done ironing and this is the back part i've added my darts you can see where i picked my dart and i've also turned the neckline and the side so after doing that i will join my zip allowance place the front and the back together and shape the body stick your body measurements and shape please do not forget to subscribe and click on the notification bell so that anytime i upload a new video you will be notified see you later bye